Welcome back. And by now, you probably know, despite a win yesterday versus the Browns, the Steelers were eliminated from the playoffs. But two of the fans in the stands will be going to the Super Bowl. In fact, one of them is in the running to be named the NFL's ultimate fan of the year. But this story and their friendship is about much more than just football. And joining us today is Jim Zimmerman, the Mount Pleasant native, who was recently named the 2022 Steelers fan of the year and also Bill Soloway, an Eagles fan who nominated Jim for the honor. You know what, guys? Thank you so much for being with us. Your story is so powerful. So, Bill, can, can you tell us how an Eagles fan and a Steelers fan became friends? What's the bond between you two? Well, I actually have Jim's son, James's heart. Wow. Wow. So, Jim, tell us uh, about your son. My son? Yeah, your son, James. Yeah, he was a Marine. Okay. And he had a terrible accident when he was out in Philadelphia, out by Philadelphia. He, okay. He was out in Coatesville there. Okay. He had an accident. And he was a organ donor. Mm-hmm. He, me and him went up to get our, he needed to get a PA identification and I needed my picture for my driver's license. So he asked me, he said, are you an organ donor, Dad? I said, yes, I am. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to be an organ donor, too. Wow, so that's when he signed up that day. Yes. Yeah. And Bill, tell us about your condition, because you had a heart issue that required you to need a, an organ donor, right? That's right, David. So. I had a genetic heart defect known as hypotrophic cardiomyopathy, which my brother died of at an early age of 27. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then I was detected with that, and that was the start of my journey to a heart transplant. Okay. So I led a really active lifestyle. I biked close to 5,000 miles a year, uh, then into congestive heart failure where I had trouble walking just a few steps. And we're happy to say you're doing quite well right now, right? I am doing very well, thanks to James, my donor. And you wanted to find out about the family, right? So you, you wrote a letter and you got a response back, right? Yeah, so what a great gift that anyone can receive, the best gift of all, the gift of life. And when I received that gift and I was able to get back on my bike and have a life again, I knew I wanted to reach out to my donor's family to say, hey, thank you for this mm -hmm. special gift, right? And so, Jim, you, you wrote back to him. Uh, your wife wrote back to him as well. Yes. Uh, and then you guys wound up meeting, wound up becoming friends. Uh, and then he up and nominates you for Steelers yes, Fan of the Year. <laughs> I was so surprised. It is fantastic because, uh, well, tell us why you decided to do that. When you met him, you knew something about him. Yeah, so Jim and I had gotten together several times over the past couple of years, right, since uh, I first met him. He was wearing Steelers uh, clothing. He had a Steelers jacket on that day, and then the next time I would come out, he'd have a Steelers shirt, and then the next time that I saw him, he'd have a different Steelers shirt, and I'm like, I guess you're a Steelers fan then, right, Jim? <laughs> and then I finally said, have you ever been to a game? And that's when he said, I really haven't, you know. I always wanted to go to a game as a kid with my father, mm -hmm. and then I really wanted to take my son to a game, and we never really had that opportunity, and that's when I said, Jim, you had that opportunity because James is taking you to a game, right? And I said, he may not be here in body, but his heart will be. And, wow. Uh, wow. And we were at the New England game this uh, past season, and it was Jim's first game. Yeah. What was that like? Oh, it was fantastic. Yeah. Just being there, all the excitement around me and stuff. Yeah. Bill, tell us what it means to you, this special gift. Yeah, listen, David, you know, when I was in congestive heart failure, uh, my mom passed from congestive heart failure. Of course, my brother passed from this hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and I was the primary caregiver of my 84-year-old father. Wow. And here I'm being diagnosed with this condition, and what it means to me really is the fact that I was able to outlive my 84-year-old father, right, mm -hmm. and spend quality time with him up to his passing. And there's no greater gift than that. Jim, what does it mean to you that you know that your son, by being an organ donor, is, is keeping Bill alive? Yes, it's fantastic. You know, organ donation is something 
everybody should think about because if not, I, I was lost when my son passed, mm -hmm. okay? But Bill felt, filled that emptiness I had. That's sweet. Yeah, it really is. And, and so tell us now, you're up for not only your Steelers fan of the year, you're up for NFL fan of the year. The ultimate fan of the year. All right, that's fantastic. Well, we wish you luck on that. We hope it happens. I know both of you are going to the Super Bowl. So, and who knows, maybe the Eagles will be there too. They will be there. Okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking positively. That's what's happening. All right. Hey, thank you so much for joining okay. us and sharing your story. We really, really appreciate and it. And David, I just wanted to say to the viewers out there to visit the website donatelifepa.org slash fan of the year where they'll be able to view Jim and my story, also have a link to vote for Jim as NFL Fan of the Year, and also register to be an organ donor. There you go, yeah. All right, thank you so much. Okay, David, thank thanks you, for David. having us. Appreciate it. Yes, and again, there are a couple of ways that you can help push this story forward. You can vote for Jim, as we just mentioned, to become the NFL Ultimate Fan of the Year, and, or if you were moved and you want to become an organ donor, visit our website, Pittsburgh Today Live.